What happens to ad revenues on YouTube when the creator dies? That goes to their question. estate. It goes to their estate. Potentially. <laughs> I guess it depends. I don't know what YouTube's terms are. That's I mean, a good point. Yeah, you could contract something else. If it's just the issue of checks flowing in the mail, then whoever your estate is would get the money. But if it's like yeah. a beneficiary or a signed issue or some contract with YouTube, I guess it can get theoretically more murky. I feel like this is something where the answer is going to be buried somewhere in the, the terms of service. If a client yeah. came to me yeah. to ask about that, we would un we would make the unfortunate job of loading up the YouTube terms of service <laughs> and then we would do a find yep. for death. I'm not going to read that wire to wire. No. We're just going to do a control but, F. And then, <laughs> so I think it's for your, for most of your users, it'll be in the terms of service, like mm -hmm. what's going to happen or some kind of framework. And then for like big producers that actually have like the the contracts or the other agreements, yeah. then you might get into something but a little bit a, more defined. But that is an important question to note. If yeah. that is your source of income and your family or whatever depend on that, yeah, yeah. then you may want to talk to your attorney about that when planning it. Yeah. Um, so, so would that be the same thing for like you know television royalties? Like if like that's Jennifer more Anderson, clean. If, if Jennifer Anderson, law now. if Jennifer been Jen, wow, whew, Jennifer Anderson passed away, uh, and would and her estate would get that, get the royalties. Of yeah, that's a lot friends. legally cleaner. Cool. Part of because there's not just one company. Jennifer Anderson would have particularly signed a negotiated contract with that company in all likelihood. Right. Yeah, it's something where like somebody is signing a contract, they're probably going to have an attorney with them or some other representative who's going to look through that contract versus YouTube, which, you know, for a lot of these influencers, like, you know, a 15-year-old kid clicking accept and yeah. then turning on their webcam. I don't know anyone who will read – anyone who says they read the terms of service, I think they're a liar. Yep. One, and if they actually read it, I think they're boring. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't trust them. I don't trust that's them. <laughs> yeah. That's really funny. Yeah. Even – you know, that's coming from a lawyer who's <laughs> – Let's say James is YouTube famous. Unfortunately, James passes. I'm sorry, that's James. too bad. In what this, did I get YouTube famous for? What was I doing? Uh, you make mallards. You construct mallards oh. out of wood. That's what you do. Oh, do true. I carve it or you, do I build it up? You it's you do like you I use do. your woodworking knowledge it's like a to from create. Uh, am I exactly like okay? You, you, make, you make the okay. chairs and the mallards or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You make right. tons and tons of mallards, and you're the mallard guy. You died in a tragic uh. wood making accident that became your most popular YouTube video. Because <laughs> was I on YouTube? <laughs> was I on YouTube Live? Yes, it happened. It was yeah. really tragic, but okay. the sounds were somewhat calm though. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you were really quiet about it as you're carotid was severed yeah. it made a really nice gushing noise sorry this is really dark yeah. so james but your is gone is so they go into my back catalog we <laughs> yeah we because, there's a check that yeah. comes in uh with james's name on it for let's say 10 grand can we deposit that in the estate it would be part of the estate so i'll just take it and give it to the executor and put it in the estate bank account okay Yep. So, so you can cash a check if somebody's gone. You can sign. Oh the yeah, their estate would. So if yeah. you had a will, for example, the beneficiary, the money would ultimately go to the beneficiaries of the will, or if there was like whoever the heirs were, if there was an administration, well, eventually it would go through the estate. Well, the check would go into the account and then be distributed according to the terms of the state. Gotcha. So and that's ongoing. It's not something that is a one and done. It's like it's no, ongoing. It's checks, you can leave the estate open for as long as you want. Like Michael Jackson's estate might be open forever because long every time someone clicks that Spotify thing or yeah. let's, let's say like less shady example. Prince. Prince's estate will stay open every time he gets a residual when you mm -hmm. click a purple rain or something. Yeah. It go that little thing goes to his estate and the estate just keeps issuing out checks. Hmm. So your that. your kids and your kids' kids will consistently cash in on all that mallard money. From all <laughs> well, at least your poor wife will have something to comfort the pain. <laughs> all the mallards I've made. <laughs> yeah, all the mallards and the blood check. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, what a great clip. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let us know. Guys, we created a PDF um, that explains all of the mistakes that you should avoid when thinking about planning your estate. James and Steven wrote it. Um, it is filled with experiences of you know mistakes that we've seen people go through. Um, if you do nothing else regarding planning your estate, make sure you read this PDF. It is the first link in the description. It is totally free. Go there and get it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Sweet. Thanks. Cool. Great. <laughs>